Look, I live in Texas. How many of our kids and how many Americans have to die? It's extraordinary. The CDC just put out a report that the 21 numbers are now 107,000, a 15 percent increase. We've got the DEA putting out warnings of mass deaths from fentanyl, China producing it, cartels running it up through our southern border. It takes eight months for Mayorkas to respond to our request last August about how many terrorists are coming into our country, and then they finally say, well, there's 42 on the list almost 500 known gang members. That's on the people, by the way, that are apprehended, which are basically people that are coming across the border and turning themselves in. We're not talking about the gotaways. We're not talking about the people that we don't know who they are, who are the ones who are actually trying to evade the law. How, how many of y'all have done ride-alongs with Border Patrol down in the Rio Grande Valley or down along in Laredo or anywhere in Texas or on the border? How many of y'all sat down at the Rio Grande and met a migrant coming across the river. Have you done that? Have you, have you looked into their eyes? Have you, have you talked to them to, to understand what's actually going on? The danger that, that they're in? The fact that they're being used by cartels? And this administration and our colleagues on the other side of the aisle cynically allow that in the false name of compassion to occur. And it's the false name of compassion open borders. Go down and talk to the ranchers who find dead bodies on the ranches. Like you say that and you gloss over it and we'll go on. This will be a five second clip in some news hit tonight. But Americans and migrants both are suffering. They're dying. All for what? It's a inexcusable breach of the law. The law requires that the border be secured and that we have operational control. The Secretary of Homeland Security brazenly lied under oath to the American people saying that he and this administration have operational control of the border in the House Judiciary Committee. He lied. He's telling the American people a lie. And they are supposed to detain under the law. And he has no excuse for non-detention. And as a result of his actions and the president's actions, people are dying, including American citizens and migrants. We're here to stand up for the forgotten Americans right now who are taking it on the chin. And we're actually standing up for migrants who are being abused in the false name of compassion. We're not going to continue to stand by while this country is invaded. And that is what is occurring, empowering cartels, harming Americans and harming migrants because of this administration's purposeful actions. And we're not going to stand by and allow that to continue to happen.